FIFA packs are a waste of money and coins. But what if I told you there was a way that you could get free packs? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you every single way on how to get packs in this game without spending your money. I'll be showing you the systems that I use every time that I make a challenge video to get some easy packs. So let's start off with the first one. The first one is going to be talking about objectives. Now, you might be thinking, okay, cool, objectives. What about them? So objectives are things that you can complete in this game which will give you some easy packs. Now, you might be looking at this on the the face of it and going right okay well I can come in here and I can go and complete some free packs okay cool and then I'll open them for team of the year but that I suppose that's one option but I'll be honest boys there's an easy way to keep grinding these out over and over and over again to keep getting packed time and time again and if you want to build the best team possible in FIFA 23 make sure to go and buy some coins from Mule Factory use that code L E five cheap so i'll get into that in just a little bit but basically the first way is going to be going through and grinding out as many objectives as you can do this is usually the first thing that i look for if i'm doing a road to glory a time challenge whatever it may be i'll be honest as well boys i've searched high and low for different methods so for example you wouldn't think it but stuff like this by completing these individual plays will give you easy packs in addition to that as well around this time i would be taking a look at the milestones it sounds like a really really simple thing to do but for example look Centurion's Century of Wins. I have not done any of these here at all. So this will be something that you can go and grind out. And we've got this for 87 days. You've got Century of Matches. Likewise, you can go through here. You've also got the Century of Goals. This is one that I've sort of done on a Road to Glory account, I think. And from all of this, you're going to be getting yourself easy packs. More importantly, though, you will be getting a bunch of players to use in different things within FIFA. So again, go through the milestones, go through the objectives, go through season progress, go through the foundations, go through absolutely anything that you need to because the more players and the more things you've got in your club, the more packs you'll be able to make without spending anything. The reason why I harp on about objectives so much is because if we go over to the next section, the squad building challenges, this is a really easy way to get yourself some packs. Now, specifically at the minute when I'm recording this, we've got upgrades and I know for a fact that when this video comes out, these upgrades aren't going to be there anymore. But you really need to be keeping on top of your fodder as much as you can do, especially with those upgrades. And I'll show you a method at the end of this video on how to grind out upgrades time and time again, regardless of the time of year. But basically the main ones that you want to be looking for is stuff in say like the advanced. If you've not done any of this stuff, just get it done. I know it sounds stupid, but I know a few people won't have completed these. Other things as well that I would take a look at is all of these upgrades or anytime we get any kind of upgrades you need to be completing them and then swaps is a really big thing admittedly we've only got FGS swaps at the minute but there's a potential that we could get team of the year swaps or maybe even after that it could be future stars whatever it may be the swaps is a really good thing to go and complete because typically there's a fodder pack which is like a 20 minute like sort of completion time but you need to be really careful when picking these SBCs that you're going to complete don't go and complete things just because they look good on paper really try and and keep on top of it for example this 80 plus upgrade i would be more inclined to complete because there's objectives that go within this sbc another thing to mention as well i would steer clear from any of these sbcs any anything which is like for example right this mares card this might look like a good card on the face of it and you go and complete it and you're like sick i've got mares in my team i'm loving life but the thing is the way that fifa works and how quick this game goes is next promo event after team of the year this card will be asked or maybe the promo after that this card will be ass likewise Akadi like look at this card now imagine if you have gone and completed this out of position Akadi at the time right now before team of the year this card is absolutely pointless Willock another good example Mario you get really outdated cards with any of this kind of stuff and it's something that EA will try and get you to do to try and waste your fodder and your coins don't do it do packs 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 so using those objectives you can then go and put these into different SBCs that can be repeatable and you can just keep recycling over and over and over again and I'll be honest I think that this is what you're trying to make us do rather than going trading or going maybe even an alternative to buying packs but I don't know I don't know if we're fully there just yet I feel like EA could nice us a hell of a lot more than they are doing so at this stage now you've gone through your objectives you've gone through the SBCs now what else actually is there to do now that just hear me out right hear me out this could be one of the biggest things I'm about to say you might be thinking this guy's out of his mind but picture this play the game what? right now just let me off before before we go off on anything play the game yeah I know I know it sounds really stupid but for example <laughs> 
when you've got those objectives, like the objectives that I've just been talking about with the objectives for Berardi, this can be done in squad battles. Now, I know it's boring, I, I really get that it's boring, but going completing squad battles time and time again, going on here and just playing against the easy opponents is something that you can do and jump on and it's really easy to do. Now, I do this on pretty much every single Road to Glory account. These kind of teams, like the 67 rating ones, are perfect. You play the game, refresh the opponents, and you're done. So make sure that you are going grinding out squad battles. Go for the easiest ways possible every single time. Likewise, the Vision Rivals, you only really need to play a few games to go and get your rank. Admittedly, I'm in Div 9. I don't play on this account because it's my content account. But when I'm on like Road to Glories or whatever it may be, I don't play all games. I don't sit here and play for like 50 games because playing this game for an elongated period of time sends me crazy. But playing these just to grind out and just to go and get your wins, like your eight wins that you need, is perfect. Likewise with Foot Champions, don't go into Foot Champions and expect to be spending loads of time and trying to get like a 20 or you're not gonna do it. I know it sounds daft, but maybe some of you will do it, but realistically for the average player like me, I'm coming onto Foot Champions, I'm grinding out what I need, I'm getting like eight wins and I'm bouncing off. Or even if you can get into the Foot Champions finals, just go in and lose every single game you're still gonna get packs for doing it and you can have it done in about half an hour's time plus you'll be giving wins away as well it is an option I know that I can't believe that I'm sat here saying to go and lose games but realistically these are the methods that I use in these challenges and every single time I'm getting packs and I'm getting content and I've packed some very good plays whilst doing this so you've played the game you've done the squad building challenges you've done the objectives you've done some trading what else is there to do now I know this might sound a bit outlandish it might sound a bit crazy, but you want to be going opening bronze packs. Now, just, 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 shush, shush, don't say anything. Do not speak. Now, bronze packs are really good to open, and bronze packs are something that when upgrades are out, you can farm these very, very well. Now, let me tell you about the method that you're going to be using at any single time. Doesn't matter if it's time sensitive or whatever. What you need to do, go and open these bronze packs, and every single player that you pack in these packs, you need to go and check the price of them. For example, Hoffman, going for about 300 coins. You've got Muller, probably going for about 200. You've also got Winkler, 200. And you've also got Vukic, who's also going for about 200. So what you need to do every single time is get rid of all of this stuff right here. These four players, just chuck them into your club. And you want to do this when you have got coins to waste. Think about 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 coins. Just keep opening these bronze packs over and over and over again and saving anything that doesn't sell. If it sells for anything more than like 300 coins, that like actually sells with bids on it you want to go and sell it on for example this guy doesn't sell this guy doesn't sell this guy frame pong does not sell once I've done this for an elongated period of time I'm gonna to start to build up players in my club remember at the start when I talked about objectives getting fodder think bronze cards as fodder and then if there's absolutely nothing that those players can go into from either one of these SBCs you then need to go into the gold upgrades which will give you two rare gold players packs and with those packs you can get a team of the year card but in addition to that as well you can then go and start to complete any trending SBCs and you basically get the picture now you can come up with a bit of a sort of a bit of a churning method a bit of a recycling method on every single thing that you do in this game because somewhere there will be value for these cards but boys if you enjoyed this video make sure to click here and go and watch another one I've got loads more tips and tricks for FIFA 23 Oosh.